Okay, my YouTube people. This is a video on how to rebuild your mid-80s front brake caliper. This one happens to go on an 85, an iron head, but the shovel heads and even the Evos had these. So the first thing I do is I take and clean them really good. I happen to put this one in solvent. And then you have some O-rings that go up in here and two that go up in here. And you have to get those out and make sure that's real clean, which it is. I clean this back cap. I take a little Scotch-Brite and go to the piston real hard. And even if you can get down in here, I take it down in the bore, I take a little Scotch-Brite to it. The brake back, the brake uh, plate, that's cleaned as best it's going to get. Here's your uh, pins. And these are what the O-rings ride on. And then your uh, banjo bolts, also your bleeder. And what I do with anything that has threads is I just go hit them with a wire wheel. Real easy to get any of the dirt out of them. Also, you're going to need DOT5 brake fluid. I use the Harley one. Also, I have the rebuild kit. This came through Drag Specialties. The Drag Specialty part number is DS530471. It says that it fits XL and FX Harleys. And it comes with the main sealing O-ring, square O-ring, and then the dust seal. This is the two parts that it comes with out of the kit. I wipe the O-ring with the brake fluid. And before I put it in the cylinder, let's give it a little wipe. Now I put it in. It's installed. It just goes down in the groove that's down in there. Just like that. Very, very simple to rebuild these rather than buy new. Now, the next thing I like to do on this is just take a little of the brake fluid and wipe the cylinder with it like this. And that'll help the piston slide in. Make sure to get a good coating of the fluid onto the piston. Again, I just take some, give it a quick wipe around. The piston side, the flat side goes down in like this. The, the dish side faces out or the bowl side. Then I like to coat the uh, dust seal real good. Just a little bit of lube just to help it go in. I'll probably wipe off the excess once I get it in there. First, I put the piston in after it's been coated. There it goes in. And I like to get the dust seal on it. And the way you do this is it, it kind of has a lip here. And then the other half of the lip goes into the piston. And I just kind of push it into the one lip first. And then kind of work it around like this. Also get something small and just give it a seat it down into that piston being careful not to tear it you put this clip in that holds it now lastly i kind of work it around with a screwdriver a little bit so now you can see that clip is barely visible i had to work it around quite a bit i used a broken flat blade screwdriver and it's kind of when i go in i just kind of twist it a little make sure I'm sitting on the ring and that I don't slip off and damage the dust seal. And that's how you get that ring in there. So these black ones are what were in the caliper to hold the dirt out and the grease in. And then I picked up these brown ones from a local auto parts store. And I put one in already. That's why you only see three. There's four of them. There's the one that I put in already. Now I'm going to put the next one in. And to get that one in, I just kind of start it in that groove like that. And just kind of push it up in there. Like that. And then there it is installed. It's the same over here. This side takes two. Here's the one. And that's the four of them installed. Once I put a little lubricant on these and the pins, they'll slip right in. 
The next thing you have is the uh, bleeder and the banjo bolts. So the bleeder goes here. You have the two copper rings for that. And it goes here. I'm going to reuse the pad since they have so much meat on them. You take this pad and you slip it in to the brakes like this. And then this goes in here. This pad goes in here. And there's a little, this notch, this goes, the brake pad goes in it like that. I'll have to tighten that up later. This goes in like so. I put a little grease in on there. Grease this. I have to work the grease around in here. Make sure everything's covered. You see that slipped in real easy. Now this goes through the forks. The other side gets this pin. I grease that up. Now that that's greased up real good, this pin will slide in here real nice and easy. And then into the brake plate. And that's how you rebuild this caliper. Now I will have to double check to make sure these are on the right side. Once it's up on the bike, it'll be obvious. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a great day, and please in the comments let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.